haven't really done anything in the shop another ridiculously long heat wave so it's been over 100 degrees in here okay so this is kind of a short video uh, two items first item is what I call pearls of wisdom from me to you YouTube uh, I became hooked on magnet fishing videos very fascinating love watching them granted this is back east country areas gravel road going over a bridge where people want to dump things into the water to hide them like murder weapons stolen motorcycles yeah they pulled a stolen motorcycle out luckily the guys rope was strong enough and his car was positioned that he could tie it onto the hitch to pull it up um so amazon start looking around i think it was 26 dollars um 65 foot rope protective gloves and a 750 pound pole magnet <clears throat> bought it because i remembered that just a few miles from here is a lake um, boat ramp, boat launch, people drop things off boats all the time. So I'm going to go there. Went there with my daughter and my wife and I put the magnet in and I went all the way down one side of the dock, you know, this bridge going out in the water. <clears throat> Came up with just, you know, somebody did a sparkler and then threw it in the water when it was done so I came up with just the raw wire gave uh, the rope to my daughter and said you drag it down the other side of the dock and she hooked on to something I don't know what it was but she was pulling pretty hard I was pulling on it next and then we were both pulling on the rope and just could barely lift whatever it was up a couple of inches off the bottom of the lake next thing a uh, fisherman walks by and I help and then another fisherman and he help next thing you know I'm pulling on the rope the guy behind me is pulling on the rope the guy behind him is pulling on the rope my daughter and my wife we're all pulling on the rope and this is not going anywheres we managed to pull it a drag it I guess probably 10 feet up closer to the boat ramp the launch to try to see what it was but still couldn't see it so moral moral of the story and the pearls of wisdom don't be stupid enough to buy a magnet stronger than you are so uh, I'm now rather than a 65 foot rope I have a 60 foot rope oh yeah we managed to tie it to my daughter's car with the hitch pull to try to get this thing out of the water turns out later on research uh, they shipped a 750 pound pull magnet with a 625 pound rope so yeah it snapped so now I have a 60 foot rope and protective gloves and the magnets still at the bottom of the lake so again don't buy a magnet that's stronger than you are so next and last is just kind of a follow-up on what I stumbled across I guess with 5c collets and that one bang good 5c to 11 what was it it's not an ER 11 but a collet adapter so hope you enjoy always something new that comes across I, I'm I cannot comprehend how much a seasoned machinist after 20 years knows because every time I turn around something new hits me um, following up on this guy the ER 16 adapter thing 5c to 16 and what what the problem is with it or what whatever um, my Fowler mic first time I've used it since I bought it six years ago does have a veneer on it so it's going to measure tenths but at first i started thinking well how do i know that this thing is accurate uh they come with these little one inch dudes here and i 
put it up against there and yeah it was off so I managed to spin the thing until it reads zero and no tenths not even a half so this guy and this guy both read the same and then I was thinking well let me try these guys I've got the digital uh, Mitutoyo and I've got another Mitutoyo zero to one inch all of them read exactly 1,000, except the digital says this is a tenth and a half bigger. Both of them are identical in that mic. But in any case, oh, and I even tried one of my one-inch gauge blocks, which are just uh, shop grade, which is supposed to be like a half a tenth of a thousandth accurate. But in any case i'm realizing it doesn't matter if this is accurate or not it's just it's kind of a relative thing i'm going to measure this diameter and this diameter and all this stuff and i want to see where it's falling so uh, i figured i'm going to do it you know scientifically is the term i don't know but <laughs> i'm going to write it all down and yeah i even figured just for the heck of it let me try putting this in a giant v block with the Mitutoyo 10th indicator to see, you know, this diameter versus that one or whatever. Can't do it because this expands and so it's tilted to slightly to try to get just this diameter here. So, yeah, this, this guy is like, it. Uh, what was it? It was flat and then it goes way up and it goes flat again. So these aren't even straight, whatever. Okay, so the ER16, this guy, I measured the outside diameter over and over and over again, and I came up with one, it's, oh yeah, there is no industry standard that I can find. Every print says this is supposed to be one inch, 250 thousandths. I, don't, I can't find anything with a tolerance, plus or minus, um, machinery handbook, doesn't have it, all my other books, internet, nothing. Everything just says 1.250. And you'd think they would make this slightly under, this slightly over, but whatever. So I measured this guy, and I'm pretty sure it's 1.2488. Uh, so it is under. And then I measured the 5C, which is 1.2485. So it's even slightly smaller. I'm measuring it at the base. And then I did these guys, get the boring thing in there and carefully measure that with the mic. And um, the square block, I had said the ER16 just squeezes into the square block and they're the same thing. 1.2488, 1.2488, but it won't go in this block uh, and I'm getting 1.2488. So I could be, you know, I'm trying to measure tenths of a tenth here or something no i'm trying to measure tenths of a thousand so um i don't know what i'm going to do at this point all my uh five c's that i've used a bunch of them fit in these blocks fits in the um tool grinder i can't get down in there to measure the tool grinder um this guy just squeezes into this one right here yeah <laughs> Where do I have this screw? Because I still got to make this, correct that a little bit more. But you can, yeah, I can feel, oh, it's jamming on the screw. I don't have a screwdriver here. But it just squeezes into this one. And this one, it starts to go in, but I'm scared it's going to seize in there. You know, the screw is completely backed out right now. So, yeah, it's, it's in there right now, and it's moving. So it does go in there but boy is that a snug fit i don't so we could i could wind up screwing it up bottom line though i wanted to use this in the tool grinder but this is too big six way the heck too out too far out so uh i'm going to use that other guy that i showed in the video the small one in a 5c and that'll give me the 16 set so i can hold things really small clamping it both in the front and the back so it's not going to pivot and tilt all over the place on me. So just wanted to share that little piece. This will just go in a drawer. 
It's great machining though, so if anybody wants uh, an ER-16, I highly recommend this thing.